district of Ambrose, Augustine and his son, along with his friend Olypius, made preparations to return to Carthage, Tunisia. As they stood on the shores of Ostia, Italy, Monica shared the promise that God had given to her through a dream. Having shed many tears in prayer for you, God saw fit to comfort my heart with a dream. I stood on a plank, crying, when suddenly a man, joyous, smiling, approached me. Why are you weeping? It is for my son's soul. But why? <laughs> Don't you see that where you are, there he stands also? You stood next to me. It was the assurance I needed that my prayers would be answered. And now, my work is ending, Augustine. But yours, yours is only beginning. She died shortly thereafter, having seen her son surrendered to God. Augustine returned to Carthage, and though he sought a quiet life of reflection and solitude, it was not to be. He was soon made priest and eventually bishop, although it was not a position he felt worthy of. Like Ambrose, Augustine embraced his responsibility heart and soul. He became a beloved pastor and a powerful defender of the faith. As a theologian, Augustine wrote 113 books and treatises, over 200 letters, and over 500 sermons. Among them, the Confessions and the City of God. In the Western Church today, he is considered to be one of the most influential early church fathers. You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you.